What is going on everybody? Welcome to another little in the on episode. We're down here at one of my favorite three places in the Pacific Northwest, the Pacific Ocean. We're standing on a highway. This is actually a Washington State Highway, SR 103, 25 mile an hour speed limit. We're also on the longest peninsula of continuous sand in the United States, 28 miles. Yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna do a count them up, check them out. And then uh, we're gonna go home and cook them. Clam, yeah. baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's go. Crush in. Look at this, they're coming up like crazy, volcanoes everywhere. That one got away. Burr. Here comes a surge. Whoa, that was a good surge. Just a little 
little dimple. Super excited. I love razor clams. They are so good. I might have to break my uh, carb-free diet to put a little breading on these ones, but uh, we'll see when we cook them up. Ocean cold. <laughs> this is a highway, twenty five miles per hour. Guys, it is the uh, daytime. The sun's far from going down. It's so soft and foggy up here. It was actually beautiful driving up the coast, and then as soon as we got to the the razor clam beds, uh, <laughs> it was so foggy. So um, a little bit cold. I haven't seen my breath, but we go warm up by the fire and then uh, get home. I'm gonna cook some of these up for breakfast to show you guys how to clean them and stuff. Stay tuned. stuck. Just thought I'd pull over and show you guys this really quick. Pacific Ocean Sunset. Like I said, one of my three favorite places is the Pacific Northwest. Ocean's just beautiful.
believe that sunset and that full moon last night, man, that was a pretty drive home. But, uh, well, it's not really morning. It's maybe like 11 or something. But uh, it's time to get these clams cleaned. So we're gonna uh, grab them, take them into the kitchen and get them knocked out. All right guys, so we're in the kitchen. The clams have purged, so they've been in the cold water all night and they've been spitting the sand out that's inside of them, so they're clean. Then I have, this is gonna be boiling water. This is gonna be ice water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the clams in the boiling water just long enough to get them to pop open and it, it, attaches them, it detaches them from the shell. Then I will throw them in the ice really quick to cool them back down because we don't wanna cook them. And then we're gonna gut them. So. So that's how much sand came out of them last night. Um, this was clear, right? Fresh ocean water and ice. So they purged that much sand. And then in the hot wash, more sand came out. Cold wash, more sand came out. And there we go. Some of them even jumped completely out of the shell. We just have these nice pieces of meat. Now we just gotta gut them. All right, so we are into the cleaning process. So go ahead and just take your clam. Once it's out of the shell, this is called the zipper. So you're gonna take your scissors and go right up the zipper. And then there's two tubes inside of this. Take your scissors, go up the first tube, cut them right open. Then go down there and get in the second tube. Cut it right open. I usually chop that little brown spot off. Then these are the lungs. These are the guts. This is the foot. Take your lungs. Come in right here. And just kind of pinch and pull the top of the foot off. And pull the bottom of the foot off. And you have this super good slab of meat left. There's a little tube right here. I fillet it open just to make sure there's nothing in it. And then after that, you just want to get all the brown stuff off. Just like that. Be sure to get all the sand out of the zipper. It likes to stick in there. Clean that off. There you go. There's the first piece of the clam. Nice big chunk of meat. So good. And then for the foot, I just take and I cut the lungs and the guts off. There's usually a little crystalline tube that'll pop out of there. There it is. That helps with digestion. I turn it around. Butterfly this open. Run your scissors up there. Butterfly that open. I open this a little bit more with the knife. Open this a little bit more with the knife. And then just clean that foot out. Get all that brown stuff out of there. A little bit tedious, but pretty easy and quick. I mean, it came off the shell by itself. Now we're just getting the icky stuff out. If I think I see something, I just give it a little fillet and our little slice and open it up. There's little goobers in there, these little green things. Get that brown stuff off there. Nothing at this point is really going to kill you anyway. Just want it to be nice and clean for presentation and 
No, I just really want the meat. The lung stuck in a piece of the lung. And let's pull that off. It's for my chickens. I already gave them all the shells. There you go. There's a clean foot. So, clean body. Clean body and a clean foot. It's the whole clam. This is what the shells look like. You guys can see them. They're razor thin. That's why they call them razor clams, but they're quite pretty. Just save these two to show you guys. I'm going to give these to my chickens too. Let's see. Guys, so I'm sitting here doing these clams and I just finished. They're all uh, nice and meaty. But how random is this? I don't even know what to say, but check this out. Um, yeah, that's a live frog just jumped in my kitchen. Country life. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what am I going to do with this thing? On the fishing jig. So we're down here by the river. Time for my favorite part. We're gonna cook up some of these clams. All right, so we're gonna keep this really simple. I have oil. Um, I have some chicken bake and the eggs you guys saw me get. Salt and pepper, some garlic pepper, and um, my Tabasco chipotle. And of course the clams. So we're gonna get this going. Let me get the oil warmed up right now and we're gonna eat these right here. Got four of them in there, or I mean our clams. That's milk, in case you guys were wondering, when I freeze my clams, I put them in a little bit of milk first. But, uh... Yeah, that's ready. All right, we're going to throw these in our egg wash. Put some chicken bake on them.
you guys watched the uh, trout fishing episode, I did a trout fishing episode where I picked these up for lunch. I was able to hold up trout fishing and let me send some trout. That was pretty fun. It's one of my first episodes. But uh, I really appreciate you guys being here, following along on this one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. And come back and hang out again, man. I appreciate it. If not, come back and uh, watch another episode. So let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I've almost got the truck canopy makeover part two done. Um, and then I'm going to start building the bed. So I'm getting ready to do some truck camping episodes. It hasn't rained very much, so I haven't done another fishing challenge for salmon. There's just no water. You can see how low the river is. So um, I'm kind of waiting for it to rain. Of course, then steelhead season comes in right after the salmon, which I really love. I'm hoping to get a catch and cook for steelhead. Fingers crossed on that one. Oh man, it smells so good. They're so crispy and delicious looking. these bad boys out. As you can see, it doesn't take very long. It's a beautiful day at the coast. I had a lot of fun. Now I'm just excited because, oh man. Chipotle Tabasco, so good. a beautiful spot to enjoy some food. Mm. These are a 10 food. I'm telling you, these are a 10 food. If you guys have never went clamming, specifically razor clamming, I would highly suggest it. It's super fun. It's fairly easy. And they're not like normal clams where you like eat the guts and everything, right? You just take these pieces of meat and fry them up like chicken fry. They're so fantastic. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for following along on this one. Look at that beautiful sunset going down on the river back there. Uh, like I said, subscribe, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Follow along. We're going to do a lot of uh, fun adventures this winter. Do some truck camping in the snow, in the rain. Some steelhead fishing. Probably some more clamming. It's going to be at night, though, so we'll do it under some lights. But, uh, hey, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the woods.
All right, we're finally cleaned up and out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.